Okay then, so first things first, um, this tablet's by Dinu and it's cost me under a hundred pounds, um, actually 90, just well, about 96 pounds. It's an Android 7 Nougat um, and it's 10.1 inch. Now, if you want a fantastic camera and super speed and all the rest of it, and you want to pay 400 pound for an Apple, then that's fine. I didn't want to pay £400 for an Apple, um, I don't like Apple, there's two Apple uh, devices in the house and they just don't do it for me, so I'm a, I'm a Windows 10 and an Android type of guy and at £96 this does everything that I want it to do, which is basically browse the internet in the house, um, look at the Daily Mail as you can see there, operate my Sonos system and watch videos on, on Prime Video. So. Because it does all that, that's why I'm going to go through it with you on the video now. The screen's bright, which is the main thing, and it's running on 3 gig of RAM. So it, it is quite speedy. Uh, it's an octa-core, if I'm not mistaken. And although it's a 4G tablet, I haven't got a, a 4G card in it because I'm just using it around the house on Wi-Fi. You can extend the uh, storage and I shall show you. Let me just zoom out and I'll take you through the bits and pieces in it and what you actually get with it. So with the tablet, uh, you get a, a three pin plug charger, uh, which I don't use because basically I've got micro USBs all over the house. You also get a spare micro USB cable, which again, I've got lying all over the house. And you also get a, a funky set of headphones, um, because on the side of it there's a there's a jack plug for the headphones but I don't use those neither because basically I use Bluetooth headphones um, I use these because they're noise cancelling so I'm not disturbed by the children or the pets in the house you also get with it bang that one again. you also get with it this which converts your, uh, your your phone card or your data card so that it fits into the device itself and you get an instruction manual that I never ever read. So if I just pop those to one side, just turn it off for a second. Right now, if I turn it over, here you'll see there's a cover. And if you put your nail into that bit, you can just pull that off. And when you pull it off, you'll see that you've got two SIM card slots, one and two but you've also got a slot to expand your storage. And in there, what I've put is a um, micro SD card and it's a 64 gigabyte one. So I've got 64 gig of onboard storage and I've also got an additional 64 gig there. And to be honest with you, I don't really use the storage for much. When I'm going on a plane or something similar to that, I might put some films on that I've downloaded. But other than that, I say it, it's for around the house. Now, something else that you get with it that you can't see because I fluffed putting it on is a, a screen protector. And the reason I would recommend that you put a screen protector on is, so you've got a plastic case. I think it's all plastic everywhere, but you've also got a plastic screen, so it's not a glass screen. Now the only trouble with plastic screens is you can obviously scratch them um, and that'll affect your viewing. So I would recommend taking a bit more time and care than I did with the one that came with it and just putting it on so that you don't get any air bubbles underneath it. Right, so let's, let's go through it. If I turn that on and if we zoom in a little bit, there we go. So Android, Android 7, let's just make sure that we're connected to the internet so that you can see. Oops, there's it. So we're on the home network. I'll just connect to that. And there we are, all connected. You can see that it's doing what it should be doing there. Um, you can go into your settings. There's quite a few. Let's just go back there, sorry. Right. So we're going to settings. You've got your Wi-Fi network, you've got your Bluetooth. If I go into the Bluetooth, you see, so there's my headphones connected. Uh, I think this one's for one of the TVs if I want to cast anything. That's for a Samsung TV, that one. 
but let's just go back so sim cards if you've got any in there that's my wi-fi data go back what we've got on more uh yeah so if you want to switch into earth airplane mode or anything go back You've got your brightness for the screen, uh, what wallpapers, how long you want it to sleep. Let's have it sleeping after five minutes because that annoys me. Right, your, where is it? So the memory, so it says it's got three, three gig of memory, but obviously some of that's taken up with the operating system. So I've got 2.3 gig of memory and then obviously the storage on top of that. Um, and then you've got all your, your account settings. If you're familiar with Android and you're familiar with Android 7, then, then you won't have an issue with this. If we go back to the main screen. Right, so if we go into Prime Video, which is one of the main things that I use it for. Um, and let's watch the Man in the High Castle because the new season started on that. So this is an update this or an updated model of one that I bought previously from a different manufacturer. The last one was a 3G model. It was a bit slower. Um, oh, yeah. Right, so just before I go into that, I wouldn't recommend you listening to anything through the speakers on basically any laptop. So the two speakers are the, oh, sorry, the two speakers are there and there. And although you can hear what's going on, it's much better and you get a richer sound. Close that. It's much better and you get a richer sound if you listen to it through headphones. And that's why I showed you the headphones earlier on. But this is just a show. Fantastic and easy to use if you're streaming any, um, any audio or video to it. And then if we just go back again. Let's go to the home screen. So you can see there, I use it for my Sonos system. I use it to read the Daily Mail. And if I'm catching up on anything from the BBC, that's for that. A few things to go through with regards to connections. So on, here we go. On one side there, you've got a micro USB port. That's for charging. You've got volume keys up and down. And there you've got your, let's get it into focus there. You've got your on off button. There's your jack plug port. Or there we go into focus again. There's your jack plug port for your headphones if you're going to use headphones. With regard to the camera, the only thing I'd say about the camera is if we just go to the menu. Try and check something. So I've turned the uh, brightness down. Let's turn that back up. So the only thing I would say about the camera is it's not the best camera in the world. And if I go to the gallery you'll understand what I mean I'm thinking because uh, I can't find anything anywhere on it but I'm thinking that it is around about a five gig one now here's the puppy that we've just got there's the older dog Billy you can zoom in there it's not the quickest camera if things are moving you're going to get blur on it um, but it's a camera and as I say if you want to spend another £300 and get a, a top flight tablet then that's fantastic that definitely isn't what I've bought this for though let's go back you scroll through anything that's open obviously you've got your Google Play so you can download anything you want on that and it all works so one of the main things that I use this for is the Daily Mail uh, nice and quick opens up you've got all the um, headlines that you want whether it's US home or UK home uh, you can go through them all open them up see what's going on in the world get angry about it there we go so just as a, a brief roundup for this I'm just going to turn it off while I, and zoom back out while I go through everything so just in review then We've got uh, a tablet that's got three gig of RAM with it and 64 gig of storage. Obviously I've upgraded that. It's Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, it's got the GPS with it. And if you want to use a 4G card, you can do. And you've got two, um, two sockets in there so you can have a, uh, two SIM cards. 10.1 inch, it says it runs between five and six hours on a charge. 
I've never got to that point because I pretty much put it on charge regularly. So I, I can't vouch for that in any way. What I can say about it is it doesn't come with any bloatware, you know, like your Samsung tablets. My mum's got a Samsung tablet and it just came with absolutely all sorts on it. Um, the charger that came with it that I don't use, it's a 5 volt, 2 amp one. So it's quite a fast charger, but I've got faster charges and I don't think it'll take any more than that anyway. So all in all, it's a recommendation.